you're going to be creating um, three things here. The first one is going to be a flash frame by frame animation. So we will start with a new action script file 3.0. If when you start Flash you don't get the welcome screen, it's because at some point you have clicked this don't show again. If you go up here to the Flash menu and choose preferences, right here on launch, if you choose welcome screen and click OK, it should show back up again. Otherwise, you can always go to File, New, and choose ActionScript 3.0 from there. Okay? So remember the white part is our stage, so that's where I want to put my area. I'm going to use this zoom menu so I can fit my stage to the workspace. And I'm going to go ahead and name my layer um, one frame by frame so that I know what it is. First thing I'm going to need to do is draw my stick figure. And I will need an oval tool with no fill and just a black stroke. Um, and I also want it to be object drawing mode. Everything I draw for this stick figure will be object drawing mode. I'm going to hold my shift key down to make a perfect circle. And then I'm going to get the line tool, make sure it's object drawing mode. And I'll draw the body. And then another one for each leg. And when I draw the arms, I'm drawing the arms in three pieces. So I'm going to draw the um, upper arm, I'm going to draw the forearm, and I'm going to draw the hand. And then once I get all of those on one side, I can use my little marquee method to copy and paste. And then I can go to Modify, Transform, and I always forget whether I want to do, oh, I did it right that time, flip horizontal or flip vertical, and it was flip horizontal, and then I can put it right there. Now, it's important that these be drawn in object drawing mode, because if you drew these in merge drawing mode, these would now all be one piece instead of several different pieces. Okay? So what we're going to do is we want to actually make a frame-by-frame -frame animation, which is how all the old, arc, old cartoons used to do it. And we're going to wind up with many frames, and we're going to make just one arm wave. That's all we're going to do. Okay? So here's our first keyframe. I'm going to insert another keyframe. There's several ways to do it. You can do insert timeline keyframe. You can control click and insert keyframe. You can also use your keyboard shortcut. If you look at the top row across your keyboard, you have the function keys, F1 through F12, and hitting F6 will insert a keyframe. Anytime you uh, have a keyframe selected, everything in that keyframe becomes selected as well. That's why you see the bounding boxes around it. So what I want to do for that second keyframe then is I want to select all three pieces of that arm and I'm going to get my free transform tool. Now if I were just to rotate it like this, it rotates here around this center dot. Think of this as a pivot point or your joint of, of your arm or whatever body part you have selected. I'm going to move this little pivot point up to the corner where the shoulder would be and now look where it rotates from okay makes it really easy for us to move the whole arm just up a little bit then I would go up and I would F6 to insert another keyframe select just those two because I have the transform tool still selected it's right there to use that one more time and I can move it up just a little bit more and I can continue to repeat this process until I get my arm whoops, up where I need it to be. Okay, and up a little bit more. And on the next one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the bottom two pieces because my shoulder, if I put it up any more, it's going to be in front of or behind my head. So now I just select those two and move the little pivot point and move it up and you can see how this is tedious this is how all the old 
um, cartoonists, artists, whatever you want to call them, did their animation back in the day. It was one little piece at a time. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit because it's going to make it easier for me to see as I move this up. So far I have eight keyframes, okay, and you may not have the exact same number as me, but it should, it should be pretty close, okay, because um, if you have too few, you can't really tell what your stick figure is doing. And then of course if you have too many, you could be here till the end of the year drawing keyframes, literally. Okay, so I'm going to keep going, whoops. And be careful as that arm looks straight there, you got to be careful that you don't select um, the bottom part of the arm as well. Um, I'm using the marquee drag method to select because in this instance I think it's easier most of the time. However, you know that you can always use the shift click method and that will also select multiple pieces. All right, now that I've got this upper arm, actually I think I'm going to do one more keyframe here, upper arm almost straight. Now, this next several keyframes, I'm just going to do the hand, okay? So now the hand is here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. I maybe should have made the hand a little bit bigger, but it's too late now. And I'm going to move my pivot point here, and I'm going to make it wave. And again, it, I'm just moving it a little bit at a time until I get the desired effect that I want. Now notice my little pivot point is staying down there and that's simply because I have just one item selected. If I had more than one item selected, I would have to move my pivot point like I was in the previous ones, okay? And you also notice that I'm each time I insert a new keyframe, I'm clicking on the white. Oops, I'm not sure what I did there. Ah. There, he moved. Okay, I forgot to move it in that one. I got ahead of myself trying to talk and do this at the same time. Um, I click in the white to deselect. Okay, so now that I've got his, the hand going all the way over one way, I now want to make the hand go back. So I have to, just like you would wave at somebody, you have to, whoops, you have, you don't just do a single wave to one side, it's usually a wave back and forth. Okay, I forgot, there we go. Deselect, deselect, there we go, and all right, now that I have, if you move the playhead, you can see the hand wave back and forth. What would be ideal is if I, let's see if I move to the next frame, where did my hand start? It started right here. So I'm going to copy from there to there, and I am going to do copy frames, and I'm going to click in frame 31, and I can't command V, I have to paste frames. Now the reason I did that is because now the hand is going to wave twice, okay, which makes it a lot more realistic. Um, and now I'm going to zoom out a little bit because now that his arm has waved, now I can start putting his arm down, okay, so I can insert a keyframe select the top two, pivot. Now we all know that things go down, 
faster than they go up. Okay, and that includes people's arms. So we're going to move them down at a little bit faster pace. Then he raised his hands. Not, it can't be one or two keyframes though. It still has to be a few to make it look somewhat realistic. Okay, and now we probably want to use all three. And okay, and I see that I also need to, whoops, I'll get hit that arm even. And then on the next one, I will get those two back. Pretty close. One more, probably. And somehow or another, that arm shortened itself between there and there. So one thing you can do, I showed you the copy frame, paste frame. If I know that I want this, let's say I want this one to be my last frame, I can go in here and I can copy my first frame, paste it here, paste frame. And now I know that my starting point is the same as my ending point. So let me fit that in the window again. And I can just hit return and it will play through the keyframes. And there you go. You have your frame by frame stick figure animation. Um, we're going to do two more things on this file. But you can go ahead and call this period number, last name, and you can call this uh, timeline tweens and hit save. 